welcome to another exciting Let's Game starring me, Elf Eleven Wide Body. And today we're going to be playing a classic flight simulator from Microprose F 19 Stealth Fighter 1988. One of the more f powerful flight simulators of the late 80s. Do you have a joystick? Yes. No? Yes. Center joystick, then press fire 1. Move joystick to the upper left corner, then press fire button 1. Move joystick to the lower right corner, then press fire button 2. Select graphics mode. Oh, dig those uh, PC speaker emulation graphics. Or uh, sound effects, I should say. <laughs> We're running this through DOSBox. Uh, back in the real days, the uh, they ran through the uh, through the PC speaker. It was a it was a trip to hear more great simulations from Microprose, pirates, gunships, and stuff. Here's the copy protection aircraft identification form. That looks like a MiG-23 to me. Correct identification. I've played a couple of missions, and as you can see, I've already been killed. So let's start a new career. Escape will erase pilot. L1011 wide body. Let's go ahead and pick our mission. Change assignment. So we have uh, four theaters of war. We have Libya, the Persian Gulf, attacking Iran, the North Cape, attacking the Soviets, and Central Europe, attacking the East Germans. So, let's start with Libya, because that's the easiest. And you have different uh, types of warfare you can, you can use. Cold War, limited war and conventional war and it, it determines what is fair game as far as your rules of engagement so if you're in cold war you can't you can't just go shooting up everything around you'll get, you'll lose points in a limited war you're it's, it's something like that and conventional war is all out Battlefield War, so I always usually go with conventional war. I'll go to strike. You could do air-to-air -air missions or strike missions or training, but I don't want to do training because training is for training. Let's do an air-to-air -air mission. I usually go with veteran opponents. And determining how you crash. No crashes, easy landings, or realistic landings. I always go for realistic. So the higher your risk, the more points you get for your score. And here's our intelligence briefing mission targets. An upcoming raid requires a clear shot directly through the enemy defense. Unfortunately, the enemy has a fighter patrol blocking this route. You must Eliminate the fighter patrol to, to to clear the route. The attack must be a surprise, quick and decisive, so the enemy has no warning of our raid. Your primary objective is to intercept and destroy the MiG-29 fighter patrol. Secondary mission five: an upcoming airstrike requires a corridor through hostile air defenses. Your role is to eliminate the search and tracking radars of a key SAM battery in the enemy defenses. All right. Can check our radar sites. This will show the various radar installations that we will be encountering. This shows their maximum range. And you can right mouse or right button click 
through to cycle through them missile boats various missile boats along the coast of Libya missile ranges this is the range of their missiles that they can fire at you various air bases that will scramble fighters to attack you and the flight plan you will depart from Suda Bay which is in Greece your onboard INS system has been preset to the takeoff and primary weapons are primary and secondary targets in landing position you may adjust the waypoints a full state of war exists any and all targets within enemy territory may be attacked after achieving your objectives you may attack any target of military value targets that most help the war effort are enemy combat forces including aircraft and missile sites special events like parties and uh, bar mitzvahs although I suppose if we're going into Libya they're not gonna have too many bar mitzvahs now we can do our loadout we have a variety of weapons we have the anti-aircraft weapons medium range air-to-air -air weapon long range and effective range Sidewinders, shorter range. Homes on enemy radar. Anti ship weapon. And a vari variety of bombs. I usually just go with the Maverick, is uh, usually a good, a good uh, choice to go with. It's a fire and forget weapon. You can also attach, select a minelet's camera and a fuel tank, extra fuel. We have extra fuel loaded because we have a long mission. Arming complete. Let's take off. So here we are on the ground. And as we take off, I'll point out the controls. So let's extend our flaps. Put throttle to maximum with shift plus. And roll down the runway. Lift off. Press six to ex retract the gear. And we're airborne. Missile boat detected. start heading for our first waypoint. Put the autopilot on with seven. It's not working. Why isn't it working? Oops. Because the flaps are down. That's why. And reduce speed a little bit so we can get into our cruising speed of about 70% throttle. Flying over the ocean, the Mediterranean Bay. F2 changes our attack type from air to air, to air to ground, to navigational. 7 is the autopilot, 1, 2, 3, and 4 are various jammers and uh, countermeasures, including uh, flares and chaff. On the left side is our damage indicator. It's all green, green boxes, means we are not damaged. F6 to get a better view of our damage and that shows also our number of chaffs and our number of flares the gear indicator over there and the autopilot and the throttle 
F5 shows us our weapon bays. That shows us our weapons. And use spacebar to toggle between weapons. So you have to use the fuel as a weapon. You have to, to in order to get the fuel, you have to select it and pump it into the fuel tanks. Let's see. F3 makes the tactical map for the left HUD, or our uh, multifunction display, MFD. And that'll show us all our targets relative to our position. You use the NM and the colon and slash keys to track various targets. We're in navigational mode so we can track the airbase at Suda Bay, which is where we took off. And we switch to air to air and we can track this uh, airliner. Do shift F6 to look at the fancy graphics of it. Woo, it's exciting. Look at those polygons. It's our chase target tactical view. Got a couple of more views here. The slot view. Ooh. Pitch and a roll there. Chase plane. Side view. We've been identified by our radar by a missile boat, unfortunately. We are track being tracked. The track warning light is on. And that center gauge shows our stealth meter. Blue is our stealthiness, and the red is lack of stealthiness. So the, when the little blips intercept the red at the bottom, that means we've been detected. When it goes all the way through the red, it means we've been detected. So the F-19 isn't as stealthy as one would believe. Let's home in our waypoint. There's a missile boat to our left. Let's take him out. Because we've got plenty of missiles for that. Range 39. See him on the tactical map. Just wait for him to get in range for our Maverick. Descend a little bit to lower our radar profile. The lower you fly, the less radar profile you have. So you want to fly pretty low to the ground. Missile lock. 
Open bay doors. Fire our Maverick. And the missile boat is firing at us. So let's engage our jammers with the four key. To jam that missile. Which increases our radarness. And it's close, so we drop some chaff. You can tell the indicators on the right hand side are the warning indicators when you're tracking, when you're being tracked and stuff. Right, our missile boat has been destroyed. Target destroyed. Tracking camera ahead. Oil tanker, eh? Airbase at Port Briga. So they'll scramble fighters once they detect you. And you'll have to deal with fighter jets. And the F-19 isn't your typical fighter jet because... It's slow and sluggish like a wet sponge. And it stalls at the drop of a hat. Put on our autopilot. Let's accelerate time a little bit. Let's shift Z to accelerate time. Because we are on a long mission. We could shoot at an oil tanker, but I don't really want to. Sam radar at Albadja. Shoot at that with my Maverick. There's a MiG-25 you can see on our HUD. The radar blip. Use B to switch targets. Or N. Not wanting to uh, switch targets. Oh, I'm in navigational mode, that's why. Bearing 189. Why don't I see it on my. Oh, there it is. When you bank, your stealth meter goes up. When you open the bay doors, the stealth meter goes up also because the bay doors are easier to detect with the radar. See, there's a couple of MiGs coming in, vectoring on my position. We'll go ahead and intercept them. Sam radar hit by AGM-65. Very good. That sound means they're right on top of us. Put the full throttle. Fire the guns.
Come on, shoot him down. There we go. Take care of these nigs. There's another one. Shoot him. See stall warning. Visual ID. That's bad. Stall warning. I'm too far away. I think. I'm being tracked from all over. use our missiles. Alright. Now I'm way up in the air and unstealthy. So I want to slow down. Oh, there's my primary target. Whoops. I didn't mean to set throttle to zero. <laughs> oh, I was hit by an anti-aircraft missile. on. Shoot him down. Bearing 356. Bearing 23. See, look at that. Likes to stall on the corners. Oh. Fly right across my reticule. Alright, that takes care of that. Destroy enemy SAM radar at Benghazi. Oh, I was hit. Damage taken. So the F-19 can take a lot of hits, actually. SA2. Where is my secondary target? Uh, it's a radar, isn't it? There's a missile coming in for me. A 
Let's launch some chaff and flares to get it to go away. Big 23 destroyed! Air to ground, come on! It's gotta be around here somewhere! Destroy Sam Radar at Benghazi. There we are. Let's get in range of him. Our flight controls are a little wonky because of, because of damage. Getting shot and stuff. We should lower our profile by slowing, by going fly, flying slower and lower. Closing in on Benghazi. Tactical map. Should be getting in range right about now. There we go. Maverick fired. Let's see if there's anything else. There's a missile boat. We can shoot at. Watch our missile camera. Boom! <laughs> Mobile fan, eh? I will shoot at you. Mobile Sam hit by AGM-65. Return to Air Base at Suda Bay. Being tracked by someone. Switch to air to ground. Missile boat is right in front of me. Missile boat is firing missiles. Oh, I was hit. And the fuel tanks, that's not good.
I'm gonna destroy that missile boat. Use my guns. Oops. Hit by a ten. Oh no. That's not good. Better bail out. No. Crashed and exploded. American spy to admit to terrorist acts. Oh no, I've been captured by the Soviet Union. Meanwhile, the Washington gangsters offered to free several imprisoned freedom fighters for this criminal. We, <laughs> we regret that evil capitalists forced this trade of unjustly held political prisoners for this American terror terrorist. After an embarrassing international incident, Second Lieutenant L-1011 Widebody returned to his squadron. Destroying the primary and secondary targets helped calm the squadron commander. The performance rating for this mission was 137. Six enemy aircraft were shot down. Four enemy ground installations were destroyed. View mission. Maverick released. Missile boat destroyed. Maverick released. Missile boat... or uh, Albadja destroyed. Foxbat shot down. Flogger shot down. Hammer and released. Fulcrum shot down. Hit by missile. Shot down Fulcrum. Foxbat shot down. Hit by missile. Flogger shot down. Missile released. Mobile Sam destroyed. Hit by missile. Hit by missile. Hit by missile. Mission end captured. <laughs> Exit debriefing. Second Lieutenant Widebody was awarded the Purple Heart for being wounded in combat operations. Because your capture exposed our stealth technology, the squadron commander will not recommend you for the Airman's Medal. Fine. <laughs> Well, I always wanted to get my picture in the paper. F-15 in the corner. <laughs> well, I'm still active. <laughs> that was fun. I'll probably do some more missions later. Alright. Until next time, I will see you around.